Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we will be doing a detailed FAQ of the new iQOO Z6, the 44 watt charging device. So we have been getting a lot of questions since morning about this iQOO Z6, uh, the new uh, version or rather the budget device from iQOO launched alongside the iQOO Z6 Pro. So we have got the device uh, just a couple of days back. So we have started uh, testing it and we have started making videos. We have already uploaded the uh, the charging test and also uh, the camera review. Now before we get to the review that will take a couple of days more, we will be uh, doing a detailed FAQ. You have asked us a lot of questions on uh, uh, Twitter and as well as on youtube so we'll be answering all those questions we have received on this uh, device this is the iq uh, z6 so we'll just uh, show you the device uh, in case uh, you're interested uh, so iq z6 you can see here this is uh, the qualcomm snapdragon 680 powered chip uh, we have uh, got the 6 plus 2 gigabyte ram version uh, there is also 4 gigabyte ram and 8 gigabyte ram we'll talk about that in a while this has android 12 as well so this is the iq uh, z6 uh, this this is named iq z6 44 word because iq z6 uh, 5g version is already launched uh, earlier this year so we'll be talking about this device we'll be answering all your questions so let's get started uh, so first step let's talk about the design elements now you get uh, a water drop notch uh, very similar to uh, the iq z6 pro now the bottom uh, chin has been uh, slightly bigger on the iq z6 compared to the iq z6 pro because that's more of a premium device now back panel design looks uh, quite similar it's almost the same design on this device as well uh, we have a matte finish and we have a pattern here it's a very beautiful pattern actually in fact the design definitely looks good the, this blue color definitely looks uh, nice especially this matte finish back panel and the camera layout we personally like the design actually and uh, we have uh, this uh, uh, flat uh, side uh, side panel and also the top and bottom section are also flat so design definitely looks uh, pretty good on this device now talking about the build quality as i said before this is completely polycarbonate material in fact the uh, build quality feels quite sturdy for this price segment uh, it is well built and uh, even the back panel looks really solid there is no uh, issues uh, whatsoever uh, in terms of design it feels really solid now talking about the display so this is one of the things uh, a lot of you have asked us uh, regarding um, doubts regarding the display now this device comes with an AMOLED display it's a full HD plus AMOLED display it is having 60 Hertz refresh rate it's not a high refresh rate it's a standard 60 Hertz refresh rate now it's an AMOLED panel uh, so you get a really vibrant colors now uh, regarding um, the touch sampling rate it is 180 Hertz touch sampling rate is offered now you can see that the display smoothness isn't bad it's a standard 60 Hertz so you won't get the ultra smooth uh, response but it's still uh, not a bad display you get the AMOLED display and uh, the colors are vibrant uh, even uh, the color gamut also looks good so it's overall a good display at this price segment now many of you have asked us about the display protection now we are not really sure about the protection we have asked uh, iq for a clarification on that but we assume that this is a uh, short sensation glass that's one uh, uh, thing which iq and vivo uses regularly so we are assuming this is also short sensation but we'll uh, come back uh, with an update uh, once uh, iq comes back to us with an answer on uh, what is the uh, display protection offered now there is a pre-installed screen guard on this device so it protects uh, you from basic wear and tear and issue so that is there so it is already pre-installed with a, a screen guard now next uh, is the storage so this device is offered in just one storage within 128 gigabyte which is pretty good actually uh, whether you get uh, the 4 gigabyte ram 6 gigabyte ram or 8 gigabyte ram all of these are offered in uh, 128 gigabyte storage uh, now regarding sim cards uh, this device comes with a dual sim card support and a 4g lt now uh, the sim card slot is at the top i uh, will show you this a uh, lot of you have been asking us what is uh, the slot like so you can see here it's a triple slot uh, we have a dedicated sd card slot as well as a dual sim card so that's the sim card uh, option on this uh, device so there you go uh, you have a dedicated sd card slot included now uh, regarding the ROM and the RAM it is LPDDR4X RAM and UFS 2.2 storage support offered on this device. So that's pretty good for this budget device as well. Now talking about the software now uh, you get uh, uh, the Vivo's uh, Fun Touch OS 12 now as I said before I have showed you here as well so this is uh, Android 12 and you get the Fun Touch OS uh, uh, you get a RAM expansion option as well and uh, you get 120 gigabyte storage uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 680 is the one now uh, which is powering this device 
and uh, you get all the basic features like ultra game mode uh, then uh, uh, you get um, additional options like uh, and you get additional options like uh, dynamic effects uh, then you get always on display one of the questions we got there is always on display so you can see here uh, always on display is available and then uh, you get uh, UI coloring uh, you can see here you can color the UI uh, then uh, themes wallpaper support so it's a full-fledged UI and you get dynamic effects to customize the fingerprint animation uh, then uh, lock and unlock uh, face unlock everything uh, you get uh, the features so it is pretty good in terms of uh, options uh, being offered and you can also see that uh, the notification toggles uh, the uh, quick settings everything looks quite okay on this device so moreover this device also has Android 12 now talking about the performance, day to day performance was pretty good actually, uh, we did not see any sort of uh, major issues here. It's very smooth in terms of uh, handling day to day tasks like calls, browsing, uh, social media, we have used uh, Twitter, Facebook and other apps. So uh, we didn't see any sort of issues here. So it is pretty smooth in terms of overall day to day experience. So many of you have asked us about the gaming experience as well. So you can see here, this is a Snapdragon 680 powered uh, device. It's not a really powerful device. You get smooth and high. That's the only option available. So it should be able to provide you decent experience again this has a uh, game mode enabled and uh, you get the regular game mode which uh, iQ and vivo offer that's included and um, uh, vapor cooling is also included so uh, it's pretty well protected in terms of gaming experience but you don't get a really high graphics because it's a qualcomm snapdragon 680 chip you can get decent gaming experience uh, on uh, this device now if you really want uh, the gaming experience uh, uh, let us know we'll uh, do a detailed gaming video of this device uh, showing how good the experience and if there is any heating issues on this device so that's the gaming aspect about the ICO uh, Z6 next is the LED notification so again a lot of you have asked us whether there is any LED notification now this device does not support any LED notification that's with the case with most of the newly launched devices there is no LED notification included now there are uh, there is OTG support so USB OTG is supported on this device now talking about the sensors on this device so we have this app installed so you can see a magnetic sensor gyroscope light proximity all the basic sensors are included on this uh, device now camera to api another thing um, uh, i mean if you might be interested there is level 3 support obviously you can install the gcam and improve the uh, quality if you want then uh, wide one l1 support so this app shows that there is wide one l1 support uh, there is you can see security uh, level is l1 on this uh, device now next is the battery so this device comes with a massive 5000 milliamp hour battery now in our three days usage uh, we felt that the battery is pretty good we have not completed the testing uh, as of now but the battery life definitely seems good you can uh, easily get through more than a day of uh, battery life uh, easily with a moderate usage now charging we have done the charging test uh, uh, almost uh, it takes uh, 27 minutes for 50 percentage and 70 minutes for 100 percentage charging this is a 44 watt charger included with the box now the charger comes inside the box you don't have to worry about that so it is uh, included inside the box packaging now next uh, is uh, the camera now we have uh, a triple camera setup here it's a 50 megapixel samsung jn1 sensor now we have a 2 megapixel depth and 2 megapixel macro it's an f 1.8 aperture you get a 16 megapixel selfie camera now in terms of camera experience you feel this is pretty good uh, uh, camera ui and uh, offers a uh, decent daylight captures we have done a detailed camera review of this device do check out that video you will get a detailed idea about how the camera performance is overall we will say this is definitely a decent camera especially in terms of daylight it performed pretty well so better check out our detailed camera review here are some samples we have taken with this device now next is the uh, fingerprint scanner so that's one thing which many of you have asked us so uh, you can uh, see that uh, this is the fingerprint scanner area so you can see here we'll just show you how it works so uh, it works pretty well once again we'll just show you so there you go if your uh, device is turned off still it works uh, so there you go so there you go it's, it may not be the fastest out there but then for this price segment we feel this is a kind of good experience overall it's relatively fast in terms of unlocking we did not see any sort of issues in terms of unlocking it was pretty fast as well as responsive too now next uh, is the speaker performance so we'll just uh, play a song and i will just show you how the performance is
so it comes with uh, just a bottom firing speaker so there is no dual speaker so but then now uh, the output looks quite okay i would say uh, for this price segment this is uh, definitely a decent experience overall now talking about uh, other aspects, uh, you get a 3.5mm audio jack uh, that's included so you don't uh, skip out on any aspects. Then uh, you get a USB Type-C charging port as well. Uh, then overall it feels uh, really nice. Now uh, next uh, is the color. So this is offered in two colors. We have the blue variant. There is also a black color uh, that's also included. So if you ask me which color to choose, probably I would go with this blue color which looks really nice. Especially the pattern. Uh, here you can see here it feels really nice. Now uh, this is not a 5G device so that's one of the important things this is a purely 4G device so it does support uh, 4G, 4G LTE, dual voltage is there then uh, carrier aggregation is there that's another thing which many of you have asked us there is 4G plus support that's carrier aggregation is supported and uh, it is dual 4G support there is no 5G on this device so if you are looking for a 5G device get the IQ Z6 5G this is a 4G device. So next uh, is the pricing. Uh, this is priced starting at 13 triple nine, 15 499, and 16 triple nine. That's the three variants: uh, four gigabyte RAM, six gigabyte RAM, and eight gigabyte RAM. So these are three variants. I would suggest you to go with the six gigabyte RAM because four gigabyte RAM might not be the best option uh, if you are uh, using it uh, for extensive tasks. Uh, better go with the six gigabyte RAM. But even four gigabyte RAM with uh, the virtual RAM feature should be decent enough for daily performance and with offers you can uh, get this device for a really stunning pricing we feel this is a pretty good package uh, actually uh, for the what it offers uh, especially with the AMOLED display uh, in display fingerprint scanner good design and build quality even the cameras also looks good battery life is good and software is android 12 that's more important a lot of devices right now launching in india are still android 11 so you get that feature as well so that was the detailed FAQ of the uh, IQ Z6, uh, the 44 watt uh, device. So if you still have any questions, uh, do let us know in the comment section. We have almost covered all the aspects. It's almost like 30 to 35 points we have covered. In case we have missed out any feature or uh, any queries you have, do let us know in the comment section. We will be happy to help you with uh, your queries. So that is the detailed FAQ of the IQ Z6 uh, 44 watt. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.